Chappell in Serbia, U23 World Championships. Husker fans, probably like myself, are probably like scattering what's going on. Labriol is not coming. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we had to take a COVID test 48 hours out. He was positive. So um, no symptoms. We had no idea. Uh, so yeah, it was unfortunate. Uh, we had we tried to get him another test, but uh, just wasn't enough time. So kind of one of those deals where, yeah, he, he tested positive and nothing we could do. We obviously want to health first. So uh, we had to, we had to call it for him. He was pretty bummed, but obviously he understands. Yeah, it's too bad because I feel like these international trips can really be beneficial for guys who take a lot out of it. Big um, opportunity and big chance for an experience for Peyton Rob. Absolutely. So. Peyton's awesome. I mean, he's he's a seasoned freestyle Greco guy. He loves this, those international styles. So the fact that he was able to make this team big confidence booster. And again, anytime I'm under the I'm under the the idea that anytime you can win a world championship or have an opportunity, you go and you try. It's hard to make a team. Doesn't matter what age group. Uh, doesn't matter. You know, you don't know what your future holds. So you have an opportunity if you can make a world team and you can go win a world title. You you give it your best effort and and you pretend like it's your last try. So. You go send it. Um, this is Peyton's first uh, age level world championship, correct? What are you expecting out of him here? Um, I think I, I just expect him to go fight. I mean, we're, we're, he's very prepared. He's excited. You know, we're not we're not ex we're trying not to expect too much, right? I think if you if you have this laundry list of expectations, that's when you can start to freak yourself out. I think if he fights every second. I think he can do real well. Obviously, it's it's a huge bracket, 74. I mean, you know, that's the, that's the size of, of the average athlete wow. is, you know, in between 145 and 165. So it's like, you know, huge bracket. There's going to be some quality guys. It's always one of the toughest weights in the world. But he, I think he's one of the best uh, best wrestlers, and I think he's going to show that. Um, you got the NWTC shirt on. How does it feel? be uh, back in Nebraska. You've been there for, for about a year now, right? Uh, yeah, half a year. Half a year. Uh, really good, really good to be back in Nebraska. I'm, obviously, we moved back. Opportunity, Coach Manny, Coach Snyder gave me the opportunity. We wanted to always, at some point, get back there. Uh, family, friends, things like that, so just general life. But the fact that I can do what I love, coach wrestling, in a program like Nebraska, it's really cool. I love the team, I love the atmosphere. Coach Manning's done a great job with the culture, so I was able to walk right in, fit right in, and just get to work. So, you know, the guys, the guys have shown me a lot of love, and uh, it's it's been a really cool transition. Now you're originally just a, a wrestling club coach. Now you're on official staff at Nebraska. Do your duties really change at all? No, I mean anyone in the wrestling world knows. Obviously, everyone shares in the role of development all the time, and so obviously. You know, I'm going to have to, you know, I just have to comply with, with the standard of the, you know, but still, RTC coaches have to comply with the standard set for the college coach. I mean, it's, it's the same job. So it was, you know, for, through the university lens, that's what we did it for. It was a little easier to get around the COVID protocols, the, the access to the building, all that stuff. But the reality is it's the same idea. We're all sharing the RTC duties. We all share in the college development duties. We all share, we all shoulder the burden uh, as a staff. I'll ask you about... Jordan, Jordan Burroughs, you were in his corner at World Team Trials. How awesome was that to do it in Lincoln and then to watch him go win a world title up away? Oh, it was really awesome. I, was, I got to work with Jordan a couple months uh, he, before he left and when I moved to town. So we're good friends. We've developed a relationship over the years. I have a tremendous amount of belief in him. He's been a big inspiration. I've learned a lot from him, you know, relationally, but also just observing him, just how he acts, how he behaves you know just, just observing the athlete and competitor he is i've learned a lot and so i i use those lessons and in my coaching and just how i see how i see my worldview in wrestling is shaped with a lot of pieces of just absor observing jordan burrow's career as, as our careers overlap and so i think that you know i have a deep appreciation for what he's been able to do he's a good friend he's an awesome competitor uh it was really scary obviously he po he popped the calf muscle at the last minute of the last match with Derringer. So it was like he couldn't walk for two, three days after the trials. He stayed around in Lincoln to do some rehab. He couldn't even put weight on it. So I'm thinking, like, he's got to leave the country in a week. So it was, it was crazy. And then, I mean, he said within five days he was back to drilling. So at that point it was like, okay, he's, he, can, he can put his best foot forward. So 
uh, to watch him do it, to make history like that. He's been chasing it, you know, ups and downs. I think that piece of the puzzle is something that is, is, is just, those are the stories you like, right? The ones that overcoming struggle. If, if, if everything is easy, uh, you, you kind of treat that person like an alien, right? I mean, the first three years of his career, he won everything and all his moves worked. It's like, it's unrealistic to watch Jordan Burroughs and think you can recreate that. It's like, what do you learn from him? You just shoot a double and it works every time? So it's like, he was kind of on his own planet for a couple of years, but then when, when the setbacks started to come in, that's when I really just started to appreciate his, his toughness, right? Because, it, because for a long time it was like, you know, be entertained by Jordan, but don't try to do what he does. He's just different. But as he's gone through his ups and downs, and obviously they haven't been that down. I mean, we talk about world bronze medals instead of gold, exactly right? So, right? So, you know, keep everything in perspective, but not making the Olympic team, having a dream crush here and there. It's been, it's been really, really uh, fun to watch. He's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a courageous man.